I was born uh, in a seaside town in Italy, surrounded by ships, uh, sailors, and uh, the machinery it takes to launch uh, great voyages. This is why in my magic there are elaborate machines. I wanted my magic to be grounded in real things. If a magician does magic with an empty plastic box, he's saying uh, this box is nothing. All the magic flows from me. I'm not this kind of superhero. I play a learned man, a scientist, but of hidden hearts. It's hard for a magician to fool Penn and Teller because they are master magicians and they know very well all the principles of magic. But I hope to surprise them. I think I can fool them for a moment. I'm in the mood for Italian. Magic, not food. Luckily, here's Alberto Giorgi.
Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, is your goal in your magic performance to transport the audience back in time? Yes, I love uh, to, to bring the audience uh, like they are watching uh, a magician of uh, many, many years ago and uh, to feel the same emotion that could feel the people who saw the magic in this period. Oh, it was so beautiful. All right, Alberto, let's see if Penn and Teller know your secrets. Oh, Alberto, you know, a lot of magicians try that mad scientist atmospheric thing and they go part of the way. You've really gone all the way. The, the tone of that, the texture of that was just gorgeous. And, you know, so often with big illusions, you, you, you don't have a magical cause or a plot that you can follow. But that you really had her essence moving from one box to another and with lights and with movement and showing the, um, the uh, condensed body in the box was really a kind of um, uh, intellectual detail that nobody seems to bother with. And you can see when you do bother with it, it really pays off. I mean, it's heavily based on traditional magic, but really has a whole different feel. And we love the, uh, the ambidextrous uh, daylight seance. Uh, that was something that really made it so clever and so nice and so convincing. And uh, just loved every moment of it. We feel like other people have tried to do things like that with that style and illusions. And uh, they're pikers compared to you. You really did it full out and beautifully. But we don't think you fooled us. Yes. Thank you anyway. And uh, thank you for what uh, you are doing for the magic community. And uh, I'm very happy to be here with you today. Happy to thank you very much. Just wonderful. Your Victorian magic was a wonder. Thank you, Alberto Giorgi. <laughs>